Hello, I'm Summit Mayor Nora Radist, and I'm here today to report that um, the numbers of COVID cases at, at Overlook Hospital is increasingly declining, so it is continuing to go down, and that's very good news. Um, we still need to stay the course and maintain social distancing, but hopefully we can see some relief coming soon. And in the sense of relief, we have decided to open up the Summit Farmer's Market on Sunday, May 10th. It was supposed to open this weekend, but we put it off for a couple of weeks because we need to have um, some guidelines in place so that we have appropriate physical distancing and a safe way to shop. So first of all, the farmer's market will now be located right here at Lot 1, which is in the corner of DeForest and Woodland Avenue. Everyone will enter through the entranceway here, where the gate, the gate will be up, the exit gate will be down, the gate will be up. People will line up along DeForest. There will be painted lines demarcating every six, six feet so that we know how to stay apart from each other. You'll come in and you'll wind through in one direction, through the parking lot. The stalls will be kind of where the cars are typically parked. They'll be six feet apart. The reason we're using this, mar this parking lot is because it's larger and can accommodate the social distancing that we need. People will continue throughout the parking lot in one direction and exiting down there by the pay station, which is at the alley and Woodland Avenue. Um, we are asking that only one family member come in at a time. We are limiting the number of people that will be in here. So it will be, kind of, be monitored as people enter. Uh, we are asking that we do not, do not bring dogs, please. We're not allowing dogs this year, at least at this time. If we can open up and relax some restrictions in the future during the summer, we shall. As you know, the market is open until November 22nd. Um, every vendor has to have, their, they, their people have to wear masks and gloves, and they have to provide contactless methods of payment. That's either credit card or Venmo. They can have cash, so if you want to use cash, you can, but if you want contactless, the vendors must have that. They all must have sanitary wash stations, every single one. They won't be allowed to set up unless they show us they have a wash station. Um, we are also uh, planning to have some online ordering. Now, we won't be doing it the first few weeks because it have to get set up and organized, and we also want to see how this is just going to work in the beginning. But there will be online um, poss possibilities to order and pick up your order in the next in a couple of weeks from now. Um, in fact, some of the vendors are having a, uh, a virtual workshop this afternoon with the woman who runs Beyond Mames to help them set up their uh, their their websites for online purchasing. Um, uh, every customer is also asked to wear um, masks, and there will be no food or drinking inside the, uh, the no purchasing of you know a food, no testing foods, no sampling, things like that. You won't be able to touch the produce. You'll point to it and the vendor will, will pack it for you. So I, I hope this is an opportunity to get outside, get some fresh air, and get some of these wonderful fr fruits and vegetables and meats from our local farmers. Uh, they really need places to sell and we need fresh, good food to help maintain our, boost our immunities. So um, I hope everyone will come and be patient. This will not be as fast as usual. It will not be the lovely social wandering around, chatting with your neighbors kind of experience, but it is a good way to get fresh food. So I'm looking forward to that. And then the other thing is the census. Please, please, please fill out your census form while you're home. You can do it online or by mail or by phone. Um, so far, 64% of the people who live in Summit have filled out the census form. That's a good start, but it's just a start. We were looking for 100%. For example, right now, we get a lot, certain amount of federal funding for the, this crisis we're dealing with, the hospitals particularly. And if we let the federal government think that there's only 60% of the people that actually live here, then we're only going to get 60% of the money that we're entitled to. And we all know how important hospital care and, and equipment is, especially in a time of crisis like this. Another thing that we get from the federal government is um, free and reduced lunch for children. Suppose we're supposed to get 100 because we say we have 100 people in this town, but only 60 actually fill out the form. Well, that means we only get six lunches for 60. So we need to be counted. It's important. Be counted. Go online. It just takes a few minutes. There are no status questions there, no citizenship questions. Please fill out the form. Thank you very much. Be well. Stay safe.